He won a silver medal in the American Culinary Federation Culinary Competition. His new website shares his culinary adventures called JeremyCooks.com, and he has a TV show in the works. Oh, wait, did I mention he's only 16? Yeah. Joining us now is Food Network chef Jeremy Solomon. Good morning, guys. Uh, good morning. This morning. Thank you. I'm so excited. Yeah, boy, we all are excited about uh, this. When did you start cooking? Uh, I started cooking when I was about nine years old. And I was going to say two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've got all this accomplishment at 16. Right, and from there, I, I mean, I've always been exposed to a lot. You know, my parents are really big foodies, so from then on, I've just uh, really got exposed to good cooking, good food, and yeah. from there, it just kind of took off. And you've kind of had some experience with some pretty good chefs as well. You've been hanging out with some superstars, right? Yes, I recently interviewed Paula Dean and uh, Rocco Desperdo, Guy Fieri, so a lot of uh, big names. A lot of big names, and now you've got uh, your website going and the TV show. You've got a special phrase. You're kind of marketing yourself, already getting uh, that frame of mind ready yeah. to go. What's your phrase? Keep on cooking. Keep on cooking. Okay, so let's keep on cooking with yes. you okay. with this dish. What are we making? Today we're making fusilli col. Fusilli and col. Yes. First, we're going to talk about the pasta, which is fusilli. And I love this shape. It's a, it's a fun texture, and uh, it really gets all the flavors in there. So, and you can add some olive oil to it, stir it up to keep it from sticking. All right. Then over here, I have my chicken, which I already pre-cooked, and I just shredded it up into pieces, bite-sized pieces. You white meat, dark meat, what do you prefer? Whatever, I mean, I prefer uh, dark meat, but today I use white meat, okay. so um, whatever you want to use, and you can uh, go ahead, put it on the side. Awesome, okay. Um, then I'm going to talk about my pan, but in the meantime, you want to go ahead and- Yes, I will help. I will help the 16-year-old <laughs> chef here with the big dish. Yes. What do you want me to do? I did wash my hands. You're just going to chop up the spinach just for some me. Spinach, okay. Nice, rough chop, nothing fancy. Nothing fancy. Yeah. All right. So this is pretty cool when you want the kids to get involved in, in cooking. You can, you know, kind of do something like this. And it's really colorful as, you know, get the parents involved. Get the par yeah, really, yeah. right? Yeah. Get the I parents mean, involved. It's all about getting, you know, the kids, the teens. I mean, everyone needs to get in the kitchen and cook, you know, yeah. at least a couple of times a week. Because it's something that, you know, you need to do. It's something. Well, and use fresh ingredients. I see you've got all this, you know, fresh spinach and, and tomatoes. That's really key to making these dishes good. Right. And over here, I'm just using the same pan that I cooked the chicken in. Okay. And I'm sauteing my mushrooms until they're nice and tender. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in my uh, minced garlic. And minced just means finely chopped. At 16, you're talking about minced garlic and this, you know, sauteed chicken. What can you tell the young kids? You know, uh, First Lady Michelle Obama has got this big, you know, weight loss. Yes. campaign mm -hmm. and, and eating healthy and fight childhood obesity. How do you get the younger kids <laughs> interested in food? You know, you got to really make food that's that's aimed towards them. You know, mm -hmm. you know, kids will eat chicken fingers and hot dogs, but why not spice it up and add different, you know, spices to them and and you know, make the vegetables special and so, you know, so you always want to add things to it to attract the kids and make it fun. Okay, so we've got mushrooms, so we've got pasta, we've got yes. chicken, I've we, got the spinach. Yes, yeah, so that's great and over here we have the garlic and the thyme and um, thyme is such a great herb to use in this dish. It's really earthy and fresh. I love using it. So you're just gonna saute that for about five minutes with the mushrooms. Okay. And then once that's done, you have- Magic of TV. Yes, the magic of TV. And you have sauteed mushrooms with the garlic. It smells really it good in the studio good. right now. And we have about 30 seconds. We need to put this all together. Okay, so you add white wine, and then that's gonna reduce, and reduce means that a lot of your liquid is going to evaporate. And then once that's done, you just go ahead and add in your chicken, your shredded chicken, your chopped cherry toma uh, tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And I love using great, uh, cherry tomatoes. They're sweet, they're tangy, really works good. And then I'm gonna add in my fusilli pasta. And of course, after you add all of that, the magic of TV shows how beautiful it can be. Jeremy Solomon, y'all, yeah. the recipe's on our website. Yeah. All right, hey, we just wanted you to look up and, and remember this face. This is the next big celebrity chef, and we had him here on the Daily Buzz. So, buddy, it's not often that we get to say that, so we just wanted to point out that we had a future star on the show. Okay? <laughs> Jeremy Solomon. Keep Remember on that face, that's it. Remember that name.